My 84 Porsche 944. After getting it home, I knew I had to dig deep to see what was the cause of no start condition. I have recently checked and turned the engine over. No sign of a drop valve or anything catastrophic. But however, we have three key issues. Three key issues for this mess. And while I'm trying to figure it out, why not take the car apart? Why? I might as well. I can't take shortcuts with this beautiful car because it's very rewarding and fun to drive. So let's get into it. And what I did, I used the heat gun just to heat up the seal or whatever they had and all the way around. And I also did it right here to let it dig out uh, all the stuff so that boat that I recently pulled can come out easy. So guys, we got the fender off, as y'all can see. And chipping away uh, some of this old, I'm about to look what they, what type of uh, seal they use. I'm gonna clean all this up like later with something. Got a little rust, but it ain't like, it ain't nothing like caving in or nothing. It's like surface rust or something. I wonder what the hell this is. Is this, is this like a charcoal can or something? Cause it ain't hooked up to nothing. Um, Y'all let me know. I might find out anyway <laughs> after doing research. Breaking this Porsche 944 feels so satisfying and really unique in its own way. Even the inside, I would be taking apart bits by bits, pieces by pieces, any small little thing I'm taking apart. Also, I did a label every screw and nut I removed and also put some back in place so it can be easier to find for when I be ready to install things. Just look at this car from its bare skin. It's very unique and very mind blowing. I love this 944, so I got to treat it like a princess. We got to see what's our issues. We got a couple issues, but we need to sort it out and we will sort it out. And with your help and you being a part of this journey will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's build this 944 and let's keep digging. So guys, this is my ignition switch. Uh, this, well, this the ignition switch right here. All right, now this is a better view. This is the ignition switch right here. So I followed the Clark's garage and I had it on uh, between uh, 50 and 30. And every time I turn the key, I was supposed to get some type of resistance, but it stays in open line. So I was going to get a switch uh, sometime uh, to test out the new one and go from there. So guys, I'm really disappointed in uh, car parts. So as I mentioned before, if y'all haven't seen a recent video, my other starter had tested bad, okay? So I bought this new one thinking it was going to fix the issue. But guess what, look at this. As soon as I pulled it out, look at that. That is so crazy. I haven't bench tested, but um, I was trying to be stay on the phone with car parts people, but they was taking so long. So I'm gonna try Monday, um, call them, see if I can try to get a replacement or just get my money back and get one off of Pelican Parts. Uh, I was looking at one for like $279. Um, and I was looking for a nation switch and all that. And I still wanted to check my distributor cap and all that just to be on the safe side, make sure nothing uh, had a heart or anything of that nature. And we're gonna have to get a new battery. Uh, the other battery is just completely dead now. When I had uh, 
driven or towed the car. I left uh, the ignition on, you know, for the lights for the back. And as soon as I came home, I was getting 11.58, not enough volts to crank this car over. And looking at the Clark's garage, um, it showed like the different percentage, percentages and all that of the, you know, different voltage and all that. I believe it was like, you have 10 volts here. That's 20% of your battery, uh, if you get what I'm saying. Maybe if you got 12.4, uh, that's 80% of your battery. But anyway, why end up getting new spark plugs also? They're looking all dusty and rough. But that's pretty much it for the Porsche. And uh, right now I am sanding it down. Uh, I got uh, one of the panels for the headlight. Um, sand it and also got the side fender sanded. So let me know what color I should paint this car. Um, I want to make this like a special color. Um, I don't know the owner who had it last. Somebody after him had spray painted this with a can. Um, cool concept, but it's not durable enough um, to withstand the weather. Because when I had put some damn type of soap on it, it left uh, marks and stuff. So I can't wait till I sand this hood down. But as y'all can see, we have this part sanded. I hit it with 120, uh, 180. I'm finna go back over it again. I gotta try to move this bash out. Try to go over it again, sand it down really well. And she will be straight. And I gotta get some prep clean on all that to keep the surface clean. Cause with a good prep job, you're gonna have a good paint job. Um, and uh, <sighs> I just wanna get this Porsche right. I wanna make sure it's reliable enough for me to drive. Um, and it has been reliable, um, it has been reliable. Uh, also looking into some lowering springs, or no, some coilovers all around. Cause I want this car like, you know, sitting really nice. Uh, probably paint these calipers or see if they got any other options get some new rotors and uh, that's pretty much it for the outside of course to get my door handles but for the inside um, I stripped this thing completely out um, I'm going to check all my lights for the dash um I'm just checking all my wires and connections and all that. And tell me what should I put down here, like, to, I guess, cover it up, soundproof it, or anything like that. Let me know uh, what, what type of spray they used. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty short shifter in here. So, I mean, we got a lot to do uh, with this Porsche. I probably should have did this from the jump, but, you know, I get too excited and on drive the car and like i said being reliable and all that i did work on it but actually i actually want to take my time and uh have some effort <clears throat> with this car you know what i'm saying so yeah all right guys so stay tuned for more today is sunday morning i'm finna actually put some work on it so i'll see y'all be safe and stay tuned for the turbo truck we fin to do something crazy um, so, try and get that close. That's pretty much it.